am I doing? And this week, we're back with another homemade hot sauce tasting challenge. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be my second sauce of the season. It's been two weeks since I made it, so it's ready to be tasted. The flavor should be blended enough now that uh, it'll, it'll be good. And uh, from this point forward, it'll continue to age and blend, I, guess, I suppose, but uh, this is when it starts to taste, you know, the way it should, in my opinion. Um, when, you when I tasted the first sauces I made early on, they were very sweet, but after a couple weeks, they were way more balanced. So that's why I always wait two weeks. So this week, we're gonna be tasting Champ Sauce Viper Venom. Uh, the thumbnail was the jars. I, I've canned it in the jars, so uh, hopefully it'll be preserved for quite a while. Um, but yeah, I've got one in my flip top bottles here. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, I've been using the old Viper Venom from last year all week because I'm trying to use that one up and uh, so I can use that bottle for the next batch I'm going to make today. Uh, I'm making more sauce. Uh, so yeah, I need to finish this bottle off and as you can see there's still a little bit left but this is what I started with last year and um, this is last year's version and as you can see they're a little bit different in color and I'll put a picture up right there beside me. But um, yeah, last year's version is a little different in color compared to this year's version. All the sauces are actually quite different this year to last. And last year to the first year, there was a big difference too. If you remember last year, I was complaining about that. But um, this year, there are much redder sauces. I don't know if it's because of the tomatoes I've chosen or, or if it's just the time that I've cooked it or uh, I don't know. But something's different and they're a little bit more of a redder or darker color this year. Um, and when I hold them side by side, yeah, like you can see in the picture there, um, yeah, there is a difference. Um, I don't think it's oxidization because I think oxidization will darken the sauce. So, you know, if once it's been exposed to air and time, I think the sauce will get darker, not lighter. So, um, yeah, that, you know, other than that, I'm not sure how different it's going to taste because the recipe is the same. It's just been multiplied for batch size. That's all. And as you can see, I've been busy. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, we're going to give this a taste in a second here. I'm looking forward to trying this year's version. I'm curious how it compares to last year. should be about the same, but, um, you know, the color is a little bit better looking and, and maybe uh, that's a better cook. I don't know. Uh, and then next week, we're going to do the third sauce tasting. Next week, we're going to taste my ghost pepper sauce, which is smoking ghost. And that is a pure ghost pepper sauce. And uh, it's an, it's, I think it's going to be intense because I put 40 ghost peppers in for the batch. So it should be a very ghost peppery and hot sauce. Um, so we're going to see how that one goes next week. And today and tomorrow I'm making two more sauces at least and then maybe one more sauce during the week. i got to get rid of a lot of these peppers. i got too many peppers. So i, I got to keep making sauces. Plus people already bought at least a case and half. So, you know, that's a bit of a surprise. So thank you to everybody, including Naked Ninja, the first guy to ever buy Champ Sauce. Thank you, Naked Ninja. Uh, I hope he enjoys it. I know he's been afraid to try it all week. But, uh, you know, everybody that's bought some, including some friends that I have in London, Ontario, uh, which is a long way away, you know, I appreciate it. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what people think. Uh, so far, the people have tried it. They've, they've really enjoyed it. And I'm really happy with, with the sauce I made last week. So I think this sauce is going to be amazing. Oh, before I get into the sauce tasting, I just want to touch on the fights last week. Uh, what I thought would happen would happen. You know, Tito Ortiz is a historic MMA fighter with great ground pound, but he is not a boxer. He had no boxing skill. He didn't deserve to be in there with Anderson Silva. Uh, but that being said, no one ever put Tito out like that. He's never been knocked out cold like that before. And uh, Anderson really put him out. That was impressive to see. All the lack of skill aside. The fact that he was out cold like that. Well done. So I'm really happy to see Anderson Silva having a bit of a resurgence at this point of his career uh, in boxing. Um, I don't know what's next. You know, a fight with Vitor Belfort in boxing would be kind of cool. Uh, I guess we'll see. But that's cool. And uh, unfortunately for Evander Holyfield, things went, I thought they would go there. And uh, he lost that fight pretty handily and quickly. Vitor should have took it easy on him. Holy oh, Jesus. Um, I mean... Uh, <laughs> Pretty sure it was an unwritten rule there. You got to at least dance around for a couple of rounds and, you know, give the people something to see. Uh, to blitz a 58-year-old man like that is not really a good look. Uh, you know, it was sad to see. Uh, I really love Foleyfield, so that was rough. But, uh, you know, in the end of the day, he wasn't hurt and he got paid for it. So, 
It is what it is. All right, I'm not gonna do any picks today. We're gonna get down to the sauce today. Next week, I'm gonna do two videos because I'm gonna do a sauce tasting of the ghost pepper. And I'm gonna do a pick on the UFC this next week because that's a big one. Um, and I also gotta do a boot review because I gotta, you know, do that still. Um, so maybe I'll do that at some point too, soon. All right, enough babbling. It's champ sauce time. And I'm really looking forward to this one. This one was really good last year. And, uh, you know, it's really good on a lot of things. I made burritos this week. And uh, it's just amazing. The garlic, I'm telling you, guys, I have the champ idea of all gar of sauces. I mean, there's a lot of good sauce makers out there. Respect to all of them. But I'm here to dominate and uh, knock everybody out. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. There's a lot of great sauce makers out there, and everybody has great, great sauces. But uh, I, I'm just really happy this is turning out to be something that I like and other people seem to like. And um, the garlic and, and all that, it's just, it, it goes with everything. I can't say it enough. All right, so we're going to crack this open. There it is. It's the first time this has been open since uh, I cooked it. Oh, no, we, we uh, did not do. Just show you uh, this one. You really can't see it, but oh, you kind of can the light there on the side of the bottle. Yeah, it's got a good texture, just like the other one. You know, you shake it around. It's got some, it's got some substance to it, but it's 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 thin enough that you can pour it, and it's gonna, you know, it's it's thick enough it's gonna stay on things. And uh, you know, you can see in the glass there, there's chunks, there's bits, there's seeds, and yeah, it takes a second for it to slide down and settle. That's what you want. The only thing I don't put is xanthan gum in here, so you got to shake the sauce. Um, but yeah, so let's open it up, see what it smells like. I like the way it looks on the lid. Kind of looks like spaghetti sauce. <laughs> I guess if you use this as spaghetti sauce, you would die. Let me just wipe this off so I don't make a mess of myself. Okay, that's better. Okay, you know, just having it down here, I can smell the garlic. So yeah, up close. I smell a lot of garlic. I think I noticed peppers from a distance, but not up close. It's mostly garlic. Maybe I smell a little bit of the tomato. You would not know that this is lethal. I'm not sure if this is going to be the hottest sauce. Um, I mean, there are uh, chocolate maruga scorpion peppers in here, so it's a little bit hot. This one's more for flavor. The uh, Viper X is not a Viper X purple boot. I call it Viper X. Uh, it's not a super hot uh, pepper, but it's a very peppery tasting pep uh, pepper. And it's got a, it's got a bit of a sweetness to it. It's a very good pepper. I, I can chop it up and put it on, um, on burgers. Um, so I, I really like this pepper. And the reason I use the chocolate marugas for a little bit of heat, it's flavor isn't going to dominate over the other, but it adds to it a bit and it adds some punch, um, and some sting. Because who doesn't want to eat hot sauce that doesn't sting and burn their asshole coming out? All right, so let's do this. And thanks to everybody. Like it once again. Like I said, thanks to everybody who's bought some or said something good about it. I appreciate it. Um, let's see the pour on this one. Yeah, see it's nice and thick too. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking. Let's put. Uh, let's make sure I don't waste any of this. Oh, I just got some on the cap. Oh yeah. So yeah, the consistency is kind of pretty much like the other one. No surprise. Um, uh, it's very garlicky even from here I can tell it's garlicky. Uh, it smells similar to the bottle There's a hint of pepper to the smell, but it's mostly garlic. All right. Well, here we go This is Viper Venom. It's officially named and I'm trying version 2 of it from last year to this year And I've been familiar with last few years all week. So let's see What version 2 tastes like? I apologize for all the rambling Yeah, that's good. Again, there's a sweetness from the tomato. Um, it's a little different than last, last uh, the last sauce had um, scorpion knuckles because that pepper is fruity, really fruity. This one isn't as fruity, so I notice less of a fruity taste to the sweetness, just more of a sweet. But then there's a pepperiness and some kick from the Viper X. Um, not overly dominating in heat because that pepper is not crazy. It's, it's not ghost pepper hot. 
but it's also not low like a habanero. It's it's an in between upper echelon towards ghost pepper hot. Um, the Maruga is not the dominating pepper of the mix here, but it does add some blend to the heat and some kick. And I can feel I've got an overall stinging sensation all over my tongue and in the back of my throat. That would be from the Maruga for sure. I'm salivating because I want more. Who doesn't want to see me do more? Last week, two spoonfuls made me fart like a madman for the rest of the night. Okay, another pour for you. Look at how thick that is. That's just awesome. Look at that. Okay. Champ sauce. Viper Venom. It's tomatoey. Like, it's not tomatoey, tomatoey, but I can tell it's tomato sauce because of, well, I made it, I made it with tomatoes. Um, that sweetness is, is good. It balances out the heat a bit. And that garlic is there. What I like is the texture of it. That's what I was trying to get to with the tomato. Um, the texture in my mouth, like I said, you can see it in the pour, in the way you can see it in the bottle when I'm showing you. It's thick. Um, it's a bit chunky. It's got some pieces and strands uh, of whatever was blended which would be you know, onion or, or tomato or pepper or whatever. It could be any of those. And, uh, you know, it makes for a very hearty sauce. If you use this as a spaghetti sauce, you would be a madman. Now, you could. I do have jars like this, 500 ml jars. I mean, you could make spaghetti with that for sure. But uh, this would kill you, I think. Um, I don't think I would do that. But yeah, I'm impressed with this sauce. I'm really proud of it. Um, I'm really proud of what people were saying, positivity-wise. And, uh, you know, I'm a fan of garlic, and, you know, I just do these things for myself. But um, when other people like it, it really kind of blows me away. And, uh, you know, I think I did kind of hit something here that works with a lot of things. And it's hot, and it works. And, uh, you know, I, I think this year's product is probably... A beautiful product compared to the other two. The other two were not beautiful. This looks kind of like baby puke still, but you can see this one, you know. This is the one that took a couple of years to get right. You can see it there. Um, Taste-wise, this one's had more time, so it's changed. This one will change over time. Um, they taste similar. This one, obviously, I think tastes a little better because it's fresher. Um, and I think the ones when you pop the cans will be like that in six months or a year. I think it'll stay fresh because I canned it. The sauce is good. This is more of a novice sauce. The heat is not off the charts on this one. Um, I'm sweating, like usual. But this is like a one in my mouth. Maybe a one. Yeah, it's peaking at a one, put it that way. Um, where last week's got to like a two, two and a half. So this, this is hot and it makes me sweat. But... It's less than half as hot as last week's sauce. But this is a very tasty sauce, and I think most people can handle this one. So if you're afraid to try my sauce and you want to try something that's not so crazy, Viper Venom is a good way to go. It's very, very tasty because that Viper X Purple Boot is a very tasty pepper. And uh, the heat is not off the charts, so this won't kill you. Not like the next week's where I do the ghost pepper. I think that one will kill a lot of people. Anyways, I'm really happy with this. I think it's great. And I'm looking forward to using this for the next year. And hopefully I'll be unloading some more of it. I've unloaded some. Hopefully I'll unload some more. And hopefully those people will enjoy it too. Well, that's all I have for this week. I'm not going to pick any fights. We're going to save those for next week. We've got a big UFC. Nick Diaz is coming back. It's going to be fun. So we'll, uh, we'll deal with that next week. And uh, I'm going to do a separate video reviewing Smoking Ghost. But that's all we got for now, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the like button and comment too. Check out last week's video where I tried out scorpion knuckles. Check out this random video here, and we'll see you next week when we do some sports picks and we do the next tasting. Thanks for tuning in.